Hello there everyone, this is me Ethan here, and welcome back to another film review, and in today's video I'll be reviewing Deb Patel's directorial debut, Monkey Man. And before I get into the review, yes, I got the haircut, and yes, I finally have a full-size Dune poster for my room. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. So if you're unfamiliar with Monkey Man, this film went through development hell basically, or I guess production hell if you haven't heard of the horror stories. Deb Patel broke multiple fingers, I think he tore a part of his shoulder. He basically broke an arm and a leg to make this movie. It has been his passion project and he's been really wanting to make it. I believe he wrote the script, he stars in it obviously as Monkey Man, and he directed it. And this film was originally just going to get thrown into Netflix, it was just going to get signed off to Netflix, but instead, Jordan Peele, the director of Nope and Get Out and Us, a fantastic horror director and very funny comedian, he actually picked it up as a producer under the Monkey Paw Company and decided to distribute it into theaters, which is part of the reason why I was really excited to check out this film, because it looked like it was just going to be tossed under the Netflix original banner, but it ended up getting picked up and somebody said, hey, this deserves to be seen in a movie theater. And I also really enjoyed Dev Patel. I've only seen him in the Wes Anderson short films that released on Netflix last year, so I don't have a lot of history with him. I haven't seen him in The Green Knight or Lion, but I'd like to check out both at some point. But I think he was really great comedically in those Wes Anderson shorts, and I was very excited to see what he had to offer here. And whenever it premiered at South by Southwest, it opened with rave reviews. Now, I know South by Southwest can get a little bit biased. You have all the stars there, the director. Everybody's there for the premiere. Everybody's excited. There are thousands of people seeing it. They're amped up to see it. So it was always going to be a little bit more overhyped just coming out of there. But it was more than usual for South by Southwest. So I was pretty excited. So this weekend, I finally checked it out. And here's what I thought. Based on the trailers, I originally thought this was going to be just an Indian John Wick, and this is what a lot of people thought it was going to be, but it really isn't. At its surface level, it's about this guy in the lower levels of India who's just trying to make it by working just as like a janitor at a restaurant, just trying to scrap by with a little bit of money while the powers that be, the higher ups, are taking advantage of these people, and it turns out some of these people wronged his family in the past and he's out to get revenge. At its surface it seems like a basic revenge story. It seems kind of similar to John Wick but it really isn't. There's way more than just at the surface level. There's so much Indian culture implemented into this film which I really liked. There's a fantastic soundtrack and a really great score during multiple action scenes. I was almost bobbing my head because it was just so fun to watch the action and then to add that really fun hyper music to it just made it even more fun. If you go into this film expecting Indian John Wick and basically non-stop action, you're probably going to be disappointed because it isn't that. It's really a message about injustice within a system and rising up against powers and becoming yourself and who you want to be and not letting others control you, especially a large government. There's a reason that um, it's not officially released in India right now and in multiple countries. But I think that's great. It takes risks and it just goes for it. It is very much a directorial debut, but it makes its stand. Deb Patel has his moment and he really gets to show off. If you want to make a mark with the directorial debut, this is probably how you should do it. It's pretty messy. It's pretty all over the place. And the middle act does slow down quite a bit, which is pretty much my main issue with it. The pacing feels a little all over the place. At one point, you're boom, boom, boom. It's going so quick and then that middle act just totally slows down. Now there's still some action, but like I said, it's not going to be like John Wick where you're gonna have constant action nonstop with a couple breaks here and there. No, you get maybe like three or four major action set pieces throughout your two hours. And obviously, speaking of the action, I have to talk about it. I think it was really well choreographed. Monkey Man as this character, I don't know what his actual name was, I just know that was his sort of wrestling name with the gorilla mask on. He's this really rough character who just, you, you don't see much of his humanity, but his humanity grows as the film goes along, but he's this really rough, brutal character, and you feel it in the action. He'll just grab anything he can around him to beat up these grunts, and it's really, really intense, and at times, 
very, very brutal. There were multiple moments throughout this film where something would happen, where someone got sliced or shot or stabbed with glass. There's a lot of glass in this film, weirdly. And my audience would just go, ooh, and just squirm in their seats. And that's what made it really fun. So it's all well choreographed, and it's all well shot enough to make it feel chaotic. But whenever you're making action feel chaotic, often the filmmaker will use shaky cam, which I am not a big fan of. It makes me feel a little bit nauseated at times, and I did feel nauseated at some points during the film, but it wasn't as much as, say, a Jason Bourne film. So it didn't bother me as much as it maybe would other people, but it was something that bothered me a little bit. And also, I think this film looks really great. There are a lot of great colors. I think it's really well shot. I know they broke some cameras while on set, and you can kind of tell they're like sliding cameras along the floor of buildings that's going around. Deb Patel loves moving around that camera, which goes back to my shaky cam comment. And even at some points, they had to use iPhones to film some stuff, and I was trying to look out for that iPhone footage to see if I could spot it, but I couldn't, which I think is a mark of a great director and a great editor. I'm giving Monkey Man a 7 out of 10. Monkey Man is a solid directorial debut from Dev Patel. The action is well shot and choreographed, the story goes beyond the regular revenge movie formula, and it is rich with Indian culture. However, there are some pacing issues and I feel like it occasionally loses its focus. I would recommend Monkey Man. Just go in with an open mind that it isn't quite what the trailer may lead you to believe. So what did you think of Monkey Man? If you have seen it, let me know any and all opinions in the comments section down below. So if you all enjoyed this review and if you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye and have a great day.